Peace. Imami Salam Air. Grand Sheikh of the Moorish Science Temple of America. International Asiatic Moorish Hip Hop Temple Number 23. Coming out of Oakland, California, the Republic of Northwest of Mexico. I don't got the Moroccan flag up there today. We sending a whole lot of love and shout outs and peace and positive energy to the people of Iran. Uh, that's their flag. They're making a whole lot of moves right now. In the U.S. media, it's being spun as, you know, this great calamity and great danger. But uh, in due time, the truth will be revealed. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of puppy strings being pulled. Uh, you know, if you just follow closely to the U.S. media and how they always seem to follow along with whatever uh, Israeli politicians uh, would like for them to say or would like for them to support. But that's just a little quick, little quick, uh, a quick tidbit on the international scope. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about American and Indian. What's the difference? Are they the same? I mean, you know, India is over in the east next to China and Iran. Go figure. America is over here in the west. So why do they say American Indian? And why do they try to mix that interchangeably with Native American. What's the deal with that? Let's dig into the books and find out. American Dictionary of the English Language Noah Webster 1828 We got Black's Law Dictionary 4th edition and the Holy Quran and the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Jew Ali. Let's get into it. First, looking up what Indian means. <clears throat> Indian. There we are. Indian. A general name of any native of the Indies. As in. East Indian or West Indian. It is particularly applied to any native of the American continent. That's interesting. Let's flip over to American. See what it says. American. A native of America. Okay, okay. Now with Indian they're native to India, native to the Indies. American is a native of America. India and America are two different places. Okay? We're cool. Cool. A native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans. American originally applied to the aboriginals or the copper colored races that were found here by the Europeans. Got another prop for you. Forgot to show this one. A penny. Shout out to Abe, Abe Lincoln. Year 2007. Coincidence, man. Now if you look closely, do a little penny test. All right? Kind of see the penny and my skin tone are very similar. Oftentimes, they talk about the people in North America that look like me, talk like me, dress like me. They call us black. But I'm not black. And if you're watching this and you've been called black, or you know people that are called black from North America specifically, let them know they're not black. They're American. Moorish American, to be specific. What does that mean? What is the point? Let's go to the Holy Quran. <clears throat> Chapter 47. Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. I'll read the whole chapter. I'll read up to, to line 8. The inhabitants of Africa are the descendants of the ancient Canaanites from the land of Canaan. 
old man Cush and his family are the first inhabitants of Africa who came from the land of Canaan. His father Ham and his family were second. Then came the word Ethiopia, which means the demarcation line of the dominion of Amexum, the first true and divine name of Africa. The dividing of the land between the father and the son. The dominion of Cush, Northeast and Southeast Africa, and Northwest and Southwest was his father's dominion of Africa. In later years, many of the brethren from Asia and the Holy Lands joined them. The Moabites from the land of Moab, who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit Northwest Africa. They were the founders and are the true possessors of the present Moroccan Empire. With the Canaanite, Hittite, and Amorite brethren who sojourned from the land of Canaan seeking new homes. Line 7. Very key. Very key. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from northeast and southwest Africa across the great Atlantis even onto the present North, Central, North, South, and Central America and also Mexico and the Atlantis Islands before the earthquake which caused the Great Atlantic Ocean. Let me read line 7 again. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from northeast and southwest Africa across Great Atlantis even unto the present North, South, and Central America and also Mexico and the Atlantis Islands before the great earthquake which caused the great Atlantic Ocean. What's key about that sentence is dominion. And now we're going to go to the Law Dictionary and find out in law what dominion means. <clears throat> dominion, page 573. Ownership or right to property or perfect or complete property or ownership. Sovereignty or lordship as the dominion of the seas. That's why being a Moorish American is important. Because in your proper person, you can claim or reclaim what is yours, what is ours. To close it out, I'm reading chapter 45, The Divine Origin of the Asiatic Nations. The fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation of North America need to learn to love instead of hate and to know their higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca for teaching and instructing all Moorish, Ameri all Moorish Americans ETC. The key of civilization was and is in the hands of the Asiatic nations. The Moorish who were ancient Moabites and the founders of the holy city of Mecca, the Egyptians who were the Hamathites and a direct descendant of Mizraim, the Arabians, the seed of Hagar, Japanese and Chinese, the Hindus of India, the descendants of the ancient Canaanites, Hittites and Moabites of the land of Canaan, the Asiatic nations of North, South and Central America, the Moorish Americans and Mexicans of North America, Brazilians, Argentinians, and Chileans of South America, Colombians, Nicaraguans, and the natives of San Salvador in Central America, ETC, all of these are Muslims. Don't believe what I say. Know for yourself. Look it up. Verify. Disprove me, you know, prove me wrong. As the great master teacher Tyre says. And with that I say Islam and much love to all.